Mercy begets mercy, and since you are not acting merciful, you don't get mercy. Hell is a hell of a place to be for a hell of a long time. It's just plain hell. It doesn't matter how much of a spirit-filled believer you claim to be. It won't keep me from telling you I never knew you. If you think what I'm doing is wrong because it shows how far from the truth you really are. Are, as well as what kind of person you are. When I die and you see my dead body lying there, do not think that I am really dead. Because although I may look dead, I have actually risen because I am not in that vessel any longer. I wonder if you and the authority of the church will continue to bring up the reasons why I went to jail even after I have succeeded in waking up and enlightening the entire Muslim and Jewish crowd to the truth that God is our Father. Would you continue to ostracize me and tell me to go away even though I had a hand in helping save over one billion people. Would you still mock me and refuse to bow down and follow me as your Lord just because I was in prison? Even though I am fully willing and expecting to die for everyone, including you. What would it take to realize that this is not a game and for you to welcome me, would you really give up your right to enter into the kingdom of God? and be part of his family just because you don't like the sound of what I did in the past. Even though God has chosen me to be your leader. Because that is what will happen to you if you don't open up your heart and allow me in by believing that the Spirit of Jesus Christ has returned in me. Does my past trouble you so much that it doesn't matter how good what I teach is, you'll never forgive me and let me nourish your soul and heal you because of it? Are you so afraid of what others will say if you confess that you believe someone like me that you would rather keep quiet and spiritually die than openly declare the truth that you believe I have come? Do you really think that the torments of hell would be better than having to tell everyone the news that you have joined up with a repentant sinner 
and have decided to do what he commands. Stop whining and worrying about what others will say and show some faith by standing up for what is right. No matter what anyone else says or thinks, I am your king. And in order to get the rest of the church to believe it, I need you to get up and give me a hand so that we can all cross over to the promised land together. With God's permission, 10 to 12 good followers and a few years, even a repentant sinner like me can transform this dying world and turn it into the kingdom of God. I know I already have God's permission and plenty of time, so all I need now is the twelve who will do what I ask. I'll be really surprised if I can't eventually find at least that many to help me. Preaching that I have returned will drive out the ungodliness in the world and heal it. You have the power and authority to do at least that much. The priests and nuns are our parents in the church, and we must honor and obey them. To know me is to love me. Abba Akbar. It doesn't matter how much you say you believe in Jesus if you are not a nice person I'm unwilling to accept that you are saved Jesus said you are supposed to be good to your enemies why then do you want your nation to go to war against everyone that offends you that is not showing your enemy's love sometimes I am domineering it comes with having dominion 